Is this statue worth $4,200? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do the unboxing and review of this one third scale JND Wonder Woman from Justice League. This is their first platinum series and the most expensive piece from JND I've ever bought. So let's find out how good it looks and if it's worth the price tag. Let's go. So good thing that nothing is broken. I don't have any QC issue. That's good. Now it came with the plaque. This one is number 181 out of 1000, which I think it is a lot for their platinum series. Should be more limited. All right. And it comes with this little stand for the shield. If you don't want her to hold it, you can place it right here. I'll show that to you guys in a bit. And here, just a simple base, just like the other ones with the logo of the Justice League right here. 
she's standing on a rocky base. This one, it has that kind of gold highlights, reflection. I don't know, man. It looks kind of cool and weird at the same time, but I do kind of like it. There's a lot of texture and different heights on the rock. That's cool. This is the leather strap boot she got on. And if you haven't noticed yet, her legs, these are all silicone. That's why it's platinum. Also, these are all sculpted here, but I think the color right here is a little bit too faded, like kind of like a pinkish red with gold trim. Uh, I like it to be more red, but the gold looks good though. Yeah, it's got like a little high here right here. This part right here, I kind of like. It feels like a real leather in gold. That looks really good. And her skirt here looks pretty nice. It got a lot of lots of patterns inside. And I do like kind of metallic blue color that they are doing over here. The gold belt looks pretty good as well. Now to her armor, same thing. I wish they would make it more red, more vibrant, kind of like the gold. This one is kind of pinkish. Don't mind it. I'm just saying it could have been better if it's all red. But the materials, everything looks pretty good. You can see the back from here. Yeah, the design, everything, all the scope are looking nice. And the strap, these are real leather. Yeah, for sure. That looks really good. And it comes down to a side where her lasso of truth is. And the material, I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it looks pretty good. And it feels nice. That's cool. But yeah, again, the leather strap just come all the way down here. And right here, if you don't want her to hold on to the sword, you can place the sword right into the pouch here. Okay, and the shield here, it has a nice patterns and a lot of details in it, but I'm not sure what it's made of. I think it's PVC or something, I'm not sure, but it's pretty light, which it needs to be because, like, the way you have to put it on her right here is pretty hard. So you can take out the finger like I showed you and place in uh, a, the handle, there's, there's gonna be a little magnet for it. And also these are the two right here. One of them, the magnet actually came out, but I will glue that later. Being a lightweight, you can definitely do something like this, which I kind of do like, but also the bad thing about it is it's just gonna block the view from the side if you're gonna have her in the middle of the room or something. All right, let's talk about the sword here. I think the handle looks really good. Lots of details and very colorful. Not sure what it looks like in a movie. And on the other side, there's a little magnet that you can put onto her hand to make her hold it. But the sword itself, man, this is made of rubber. I mean, the detail is there. The shininess of it is still kind of look like a metal, but it's far from it. So maybe I would like it to be a, at least something harder you know what i mean this is way too rubbery you can kind of tell from the side because rubber doesn't tend to stay straight so that's the only thing that i don't like so far let's talk about her skin tone i think they did such a good job on the skin tone you can tell it's not just smooth it has even like the muscle texture right here and you can kind of see a little speck on the skin when you know it's not perfect and even right here on the elbow, you can see the creases as well. So really do like that, man. They did such a good job on the skin tone here. Even the front, you see some speck, some redness to it. The arm, that's a lot of hair just sticking everywhere. But you know what I mean. It looks really good. Even the creases right here where her armpits is very nice. The biggest question you guys have, does it look like Gal Gadot? Let me know down in the comment of what you think before I give my opinion. I think it is about 90%. Definitely from the side like this, this is her for sure. Even from the other side. Right? Looks pretty good. Straightforward. Not so much, but I still can tell that it's her. So I'll give about 90%.
which is good enough, but could have been better. One good thing I like about JND pieces is I don't have to do anything to the hair. It just come like this, all curly up. You don't have to do much, but it doesn't feel like real hair. It feels like some type of fiber. That's about the only thing which I don't really care for. I mean, as long as it looks real and it stay in place, easy to manage, I'm good. All right, and the shield stand here. If you don't want her to hold the shield, you can just place it right here next to the statue in the front, in the back, wherever you like. Looks pretty good though. All right, let's check out the dimension. We'll start with the base here. It is at 12 inches or 31 centimeter. That's gonna be the same all the way around. And her height is at 26 and a half inches or about 68 centimeter tall. And everything else is inside the base unless you wanna display the shoe next to it, then that's another problem. But yeah, she doesn't take as much room as any other JND pieces unless you have the duo one. How do you keep your collection clean from all the dust? Well, it's gonna be vacuum cleaner. I have a product for you. This is Clean My Collection Vacuum Cleaner. This is a portable vacuum cleaner that come with an extension and a brush. Very easy to use. With a small brush, it's gonna help you get into places that's hard to get to, and also it's not going to damage your statue. If you're looking for a vacuum cleaner and you want to support me, make sure you hit the link down in the description, and don't forget to use the code ART for extra 10% off. All right, so overall, I kind of do like a lot of things about this. There are something I don't like, like rubbery sword material or the way you have to assemble the shield, but everything else, like the pose, the material that they use, the paint job, and the likeness is pretty good as well. And the fact that it's all silicone and nobody has ever done that before, I give them prop for that. Now, is it worth it? It's $4,200 for this piece, which I know is a lot of money, but for me, it is. You guys might not agree with me, but I feel like they put a lot of work into this. And if you're looking for a Gal Gadot piece from the Justice League, I think this is probably the best looking one so far. So you might agree or you might not, but for me, it is worth it. Just to give you the perspective of how much this JND Wonder Woman cost, you can pretty much buy any life-size bus from Infinity that I have or any of the Queen. So 
that is a lot of money. And also I did a live unboxing of this Bill Batman if you want to check that out. All right, guys, that's it for the unboxing and review of this JND one third scale Wonder Woman Platinum series. What do you think of it? Did you guys agree with my conclusion? I know a lot of people probably will disagree, but please let me know down in the comment and tell me why. Also, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.